today's video, we'll be reviewing the device called the Pulsetto, which is a vagus nerve stimulator that stimulates your vagus nerve via the neck. And this is particularly exciting for those of you who have tried stimulating your vagus nerve via the ear and have not had the best results. I am one of those people. Welcome to HRV Hackers, where my goal is to bring you the best vagus nerve stimulation techniques and devices in order for you to feel your best and for you to increase your heart rate variability. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. So for those of us that have been learning about how vagus nerve stimulation has been helping people improve their health and helping them recover from chronic conditions, you're probably aware that the more archaic way of vagus nerve stimulation is via an implant, but the newer research suggests that we can get similar results by stimulating the vagus nerve via external means. Now, before Pulsetto came out, the only way that us consumers could stimulate our vagus nerve via the neck was via this device called the Gamma Core. Now, the Gamma Core seems absolutely awesome, but it's just super restrictive in order to get your hands on it. First of all, it costs something like six or seven hundred dollars a month second you need a prescription from a neurologist in order to get it and third you need to be experiencing migraine type of headaches or you need to lie and pretend like you're experiencing migraine type headaches in order to get this device so needless to say it's it's a lot of hassle and i haven't bothered trying to even get my hands on that device so finally this pulsetto device has come out and now we're able to stimulate our vagus nerve via the neck by wearing it the way you would uh, a pair of headphones, but around your neck. And here's a quick tour of their app. So as you can see, it basically comes with three stimulation modes. One is for stress, one is for anxiety, and one is for sleep. I'm going to go ahead and focus on the stress and anxiety ones because those are the ones that I deal with the most. Sleep, I've also been experimenting with but that one seems to take a while before you actually see the results. And I've only been using the device for about two weeks now. Here's my preliminary feedback on the stress and the anxiety modes. I think this video is to be used as medical advice. Always consult with your doctor, especially if you have a medical condition. Now the Pulsetto sessions are very passive. So what actually you need to do is just take some of this gel, the electrode gel that it comes with, put it on your neck, and I like to actually put some on the electrodes themselves. Turn it on like this. And then we'll start the session via the app. Yeah, as you can see, the lights are currently blinking. That means the session is currently running. It feels like a little bit of a electric buzz, of course, because it's electrically stimulating but it also feels like a little bit like um like a kneading massage pinch kind of feeling it's not like a subtle stimulation session you're definitely going to feel something now from my experience if i start to feel it like where it's really really squeezing and really really like i'm really really feeling the electricity that's when i lower the intensity because i've noticed that that increases the lf power low frequency power too much which means the sympathetic nervous system is also getting activated hardcore. Now, the other tip that I like to give you is treat this as a little bit of like a four minute, you know, meditation session. Just kind of lay back, focus on the sensations, be present. And I think you'll get a lot more out of the session this way. So yeah, as you can see, the recommended session time is about four minutes. But personally, I've only been doing a couple of minutes and just kind of monitoring my heart rate variability, monitoring the high frequency power in my Elite HRV app. And guys, look at this. Look at how massively the high frequency power jumps after a couple of minute sessions. And for those of you that don't know what the high frequency power is, it's basically a metric that monitors your parasympathetic or rest and digest nervous system. So when our high frequency power goes up, that means that our parasympathetic system is being engaged, which is a very, very, very good thing. Of course, you'll also want to watch out for things like your heart rate variability increasing, your 
heart rate decreasing. And it's gonna take some experimentation to find out what power level is gonna work best for you, how long you should run each session. Overall, I think this device has a lot of potential. I am giving it two thumbs up because I personally just have not had any results or any luck yet with ear-based vagus nerve stimulation, but the Pulsetto is finally giving me some hope. So yes, I am excited. On their website, it says it'll take about 30 days for you to start seeing results. Like I said, I'm already kind of seeing them from my stats based on the high frequency power jumps. So that's great. And I am looking forward to see what happens if I continue to use this device and to see if there's more cumulative long-term result. Be sure to check out this device if you're looking for a new way to stimulate your vagus nerve. It's very powerful. Since I am seeing some results from the device, I have become an affiliate and I will be including a discount code for you in the video description if you choose to purchase this device. All right guys, much love.